Is this our last question? Zach asks, do you think it's valuable for a kettlebell general fitness enthusiast to pursue, pursue the RKC as uh, standards as a goal or challenge in and of itself? Or the other side of it, preparing and passing a cert requires a dedicated mm -hmm, and consistent application and practice to succeed. And cert prep would almost in any case improve overall fitness. Oh yeah, body comp and general health, all good things for the regular Joe. I'm a 41 year old male with a busy career, two kids, seven and four, with the normal suite of family life obligations. I enjoy kettlebell training and skill development I'm currently focused on improving my body composition, but struggle with consistency. I tend to do well with big goals and even a little better when there's money on the line. That is, putting up the cost of a cert. Is it worthwhile for the normal guy to get certified? Zach, um, I'm getting more and more people who come to the certs auditing the course, and I really like that idea. Um, you know, I mean, for you, Zach, and we're just, let's just, Let's just pretend that you have to do the snatch test. Uh, so that's 100, 100 snatches with the 24 in five minutes. Infinitely doable, a lot of work to get yourself ready. Is there value to it? Oh, yeah. I mean, there is something magical about kettlebell snatches. Um, uh, I want you to press the 24 for five reps, 24 for five reps. Is there value to doing that? Yeah, it's it's a standard. Um if you look around on my site or any of my books, uh, I, the, the original blog post was called Sleepless in Seattle because I was in Seattle and I, I, I could barely stay awake. Um, and so I wrote this blog post because I don't remember why I did it. Uh, but I have all kinds of numbers and standards. The, the problem I ha would have with the, the kettlebell certification standards, their certification standards that so here well i can't put my hands low enough to what we expect from a normal person anymore this is what we expect a kettlebell certified instructor to be able to do that's the minimum okay obviously many of us are well above that um but you're kind of it seems to me you're in that other that that little uh, area underneath the used to be called the ether but we know that the ether doesn't really isn't really true but, you know, here's a normal person you know, below the carpet, below the floor. Uh, here's you, and then here's that minimum standard. Anything you do here to, to rise up, touch, or exceed the minimum standard, I think, would, I think would have value. I mean, for a man, being able to press the 24 for five reps, a good standard. Uh, being able to do the double kettlebell front squat, double 24s, five to 10 reps, that's, that's good. Being able to do a Turkish get up with a 24 is pretty good. I mean, it's an impressive, you know, I when we do the certs and someone, you know, stands up with the 24, you know, it's obvious how much shoulder and body control they have. And when they put the weight down, it's also obvious that uh, something as simple as a Turkish get up can be a whole body exercise. And I'm talking cardiovascular. So yeah, I do like that. I do like the standards. Having said that, just attempting to get them sounds like a good idea to me. So thank you, Zach, for the question. I like it. My thought is then to get back to it. I love standards. I really do. I like standards. The thing I always try to remind people of, once you hit that minimum standard, you know, uh, uh, Brett Jones said it so well when we got certified. Congratulations. You're now the least competent in, uh instructor we have in our system because you're brand new. I, I thought that was kind of funny. And it's true. It was, a it was a nice warning. So working your way up to those standards. And since you don't have to do a, a, in a in a weekend, you know, maybe you want to try chase one standard, get it, find another one, chase that and enjoy, enjoy the process. You're 41. You got kids, you got a life. Um, maybe you can't do everything at once, but pick and choose a few things. And I think it'll be good for you.